Dan Kears is an incredible ambition, totally economic and social, at the heart of Dual Project. What is it about? In fact, in Danone we have more than 1,000 Danoners, and 60,000 of them live in emerging countries. In these countries, very, there is very little access to health benefits, to health coverage. So, because our mission is health through food, but it's health, and also because uh, the number of people in emerging countries is bigger and bigger every year in Danone, we decided uh, two years ago that one of our priorities would be to provide to all Danoners in the world an access to the health benefits, to health coverage. In fact, we are the first group to do that at the worldwide level in all countries. So um, we work country by country because, of course, the systems are different. And each country, our teams, uh, with the help of the, of the group, is building a scheme to make all Danoners able to get uh, access to doctors, pharmacy, hospital and maternity. And it looks very simple, but in fact it's a huge, huge progress in many countries. And what is extraordinary is we started uh, operationally one year ago. And I thought well, that we would need one year to start really before we decided, because it's very complex to organize, as you can imagine. But the enthusiasm of our teams has been so great that at the end of last year, we already covered 28,000 people in Danone in the world, and even more because in some countries they decided to cover also the families. So why? Why is this enthusiasm? It's a lot of meaning, a social meaning. Uh, in, th in this country, when the first company doing that is visible, it gives a hope that it will be contagious. And in fact, in a, one, uh, one of our competitors even called me saying, uh, you are doing inverse social uh, dumping. dumping. It's bad because you are increasing the cost of labor. I said, you should be happy because uh, if I increase our cost, it's good for you from a competition standpoint. And my colleague uh, told me, no, because now all our people want to go in your company uh, and so you are attractive, we are no more, we are, be, we are going to be obliged to follow. And I said, well, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> so and just saying that, there is a lot of pride in our team to be the first one to provide that. And what's very interesting is that at the same time, it's very smart from an economic standpoint. Example, in uh, Mexico, the, the turnover of people has decreased by half in six months because of this scheme. In another country, in China, they use it for the employer branding. Very strong attraction, very differentiator factor to show that a company can provide this to all workers, to all uh, employees. Another country, it's uh, more about the engagement. In Indonesia, the level of engagement is just the best in, a, in a, the Danone world. Uh, we are measuring also the economic impact. Why? Because if it's just something generous, it's not enough to be sustainable. If it's a social progress and an economic value, then it will be sustainable, it will be replicable, it will be scalable. We are still at the early stage, one year, but already one third of the donors are now uh, benefit, benefiting of this coverage. And our goal is to go, if, if possible, in all countries. And for me and my team, it's really energizing. Why? Because to put a new milestone in the way to build what means concretely to be economic and social at the same time, it's a great reward for all of us also and a great journey.